I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is The Plico. Today we're here at Mayaca River State Park in Central Florida. And we were originally looking for reptiles, but after having no luck there, we turned our sights towards the lake. We noticed that there were several of these catfish living on the bottom, so we decided to try to get one. This is the Plico, also known as a sailfin catfish because of, you can see this very large dorsal ridge. This could easily harm a predator if it tries to get it. They're also called the armored catfish because they have these very hard scales and ridges along the side of the body. These guys are also called the sucker mouth catfish because you can see, look at the mouth right here. What they'll do is that they'll use their mouth to stick onto things like rocks or the bottom. And then they clean off the algae, that's what they feed on. Now, as is becoming a recurring theme in this channel, this fish is, once again, an invasive species. These guys are originally from rivers in South America. You guys might recognize these from aquariums, but usually they're a lot smaller. And in fact, this isn't even a big one. I've seen ones that are about two feet long. There are many species of sucker mouth catfish, but some of them like these, grow very large. Unfortunately, some pet owners got the wrong species, the one that grows big, instead of the ones that stay small. And then the fish outgrew the tank. So instead of doing the responsible thing of getting a bigger tank or donating it to, some, to a rescue, they let it go. And now we have lots of them in the rivers and lakes of Florida. What I find really cool about these fish is this characteristic pattern they have both on their underside, that's more pronounced, you can see here and you can also see on the top of the head they have some of that like kind of like black curves and spirals because of their tough armor these guys have very few natural predators here in florida the only animals who can eat them are alligators and large wading birds like that one mm, i don't know maybe bigger like a blue heron so as you know they have very tough armor but i would think i think that their weak spot is right here because you can see that the belly is kind of soft so if you go through here, you're gonna find the meat, which I've heard tastes pretty good. Well, it's time to let this guy go. And yes, I know it's an invasive species, but unfortunately I checked with the park and we're not allowed to kill anything here. So we're just gonna have to let him go. Bueno muchachos, till next time.